name is Jacob Burt. I am a junior and I am pre-individualized international relations. I'm taking elementary Hebrew 1 with Sherry. One day I want to move to Israel, so knowing Hebrew would be a big help for that. I'm Catherine Thomas and I'm working on a master's in electrical engineering in my second semester. I'm taking intermediate Hebrew 1 with Sherry Shamash. I needed an elective um, the last semester of my senior year here at UConn and I had some experience with Hebrew in the past and I wanted to do something that would be really interesting so I thought it would be interesting to try modern Hebrew and uh, would be a lot of fun and then I decided to continue with it when I stayed here for my masters. My name is Rebecca Hill and I'm a sophomore. I'm taking uh, Introduction to Elementary Hebrew, so that's the um, like modern Hebrew. I went on birthright this past winter. Um, as well as having visited Israel before with my family. And while I enjoyed it, I would rather to actually understand what's going on and be able to read some things. Um, and since I plan to go to Israel again, I thought that'd be very useful, so I decided to take it. To stay on top of it, at least I found personally, you have to work at it every day. Um, there's book work, there's uh, handouts that she gives which are useful. Generally, we cover a couple chapters a week, and um, we'll have a number of worksheets, and then like tests or quizzes every week or so, uh, which is very manageable for a four-credit class. We've seen some uh, videos online. They're mostly like kids' videos for like a kids' shows, um, but it's interesting to see them. Um, some of the uh, graphics are really cool, and. Um, it's interesting to see what words I can pick up and uh, what parts of the language I don't know. Sometimes during holidays like Hanukkah, she'll bring in sweets for us. Or um, we have a movie night and she'll bring in like a whole dinner for us. And uh, it's really nice. So She's very good at engaging. Um, and she tells us a lot about the world as well as the language. Um, so I learned a lot about the culture and uh, both in America and in Israel, um, which is great. So what do you think a shlish is? A third. Okay, but what's chatsi? Half. Now we have two pronunciations. Chetsi and chatsi. Why? There's always a reason. I would say it would probably want to be one of the most interesting and fun classes that you'll take here at UConn and that you'd probably really like Sherry as a professor. She really gets to meet and know all of us, and I think that's wonderful. Like, she makes a conscious effort to not just teach the subject, but every day, like, ask how we're doing, and, like, tell us stories about how her life is going. I think it's, it's good. It helps you connect with the teacher. She's, like, one of the best professors that I've ever had here at UConn. Uh, she puts a lot of time into her classes and her students. Uh, there's almost always someone in her office. She's willing to give anyone extra help. It's definitely a bit of a commitment if you like take this class only if you want to learn Hebrew, but if you do, this is the best way to go about it. But it's an amazing course, the professor is awesome, and you do learn the material. Like I feel like I have a grasp on grammar, and of course now the alphabet that I never had before. Um, Sherry's absolutely amazing, you should take the course. <laughs>